Hey folks, my name is Chris at Houseit. Today we're going to discuss an interesting question that many buyers often ask us, and that is, who pays the buyer's agent? Well, if this is your first time buying a home, uh, this is probably a question you, you think about. I mean, many first-time home buyers, if they know nothing about the topic of, of buying and, and brokerage, um, they'll probably think, hey, you know, maybe I don't need a buyer's agent because I can just search myself online, which is true. Um, and as a result, because I don't need a buyer's agent, I don't need to worry about paying for a buyer's agent. Well, that's not actually how it works. So in real estate brokerage, the buyer actually never pays a commission to either the seller's broker or the buyer's broker. In fact, uh, buyer's agents often uh, market their services to buyers as quote-unquote free because uh, brokerage commissions are a seller closing cost. So typically what happens is the seller negotiates a listing agreement with a seller's broker or otherwise known as a listing agent and uh, this exclusive right to sell listing agreement um, essentially spells out a, uh, a specific percentage of the sale price to be paid in commission regardless of what happens and and in these traditional listing agreements it's usually you know five six percent six percent is something you hear about in television pretty often um, sometimes it can be more or less but let's say you know six percent so basically in a traditional listing agreement this uh, seller's broker will be the exclusive listing agent so they will be the only broker listing it and uh, if the property sells the seller owes six percent if the uh, mo most commonly, the buyer will have their own broker, so between 75% uh, to 90% in some markets of buyers uh, are represented by a buyer's broker. So in, in those instances, the deal is uh, co-broked, and that basically means per local MLS rules, it's split per the association rules, usually 50-50. Um, so that 6% would be split 3% to the seller's broker and 3% to the buyer's broker. Uh, in the rare instance that the buyer uh, comes in direct, refuses to have their own buyer's agent for some reason, or waives their right to representation, uh, then the seller's broker collects both sides of the commission. Uh, because as you remember, per the listing agreement, the 6% uh, gets paid out regardless of what happens. So in that lucky instance for the seller's broker, they keep all 6%. So in short, who pays the buyer's agent? Well, it's the seller. If the buyer uh, decides to have a buyer's agent, which is most common, uh, then the buyer's agent simply gets split uh, a uh, you know 50% or how, whatever the association rule is state. Um, for example, 50% of the uh, of the total listing commission that is paid by the seller. So it's the seller that pays. Uh, if the buyer has an agent, they'll, they'll get a split of the listing commission. It doesn't cost the buyer anything. There's no hidden fees or anything of that sort. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So anyway, we hope you found this video helpful. Uh, my name is Chris at Houseit, and we'll see you on the next one.